Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So Gucci has rolled out a new fragrance and an ad to go along with it. And apparently they have not learned from designer brands who have recently made major advertising missteps. Oh shit, here we go again. Balenciaga, we have not forgotten. Apparently Gucci has, and they're still making ridiculous decisions, but we remember, and we're going to talk about that today. But before we do, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, so Gucci just released this ad a couple of days ago, and it is starring three high profile celebrities, one of whom is the person formerly known as Ellen Page. Da da da! Elliot! Everybody knows and loves him, her. Elliot has now become like the face of the celebrity transgender movement. And Ellen Elliot is in this ad. And ASAP Rocky. Life is but a dream. It's what you make it. My dream. And perform. I literally don't even know what that is, to be quite honest. It's like they watched Sam Smith's music video for Not Here to Make Friends and they were like, yes, Slay, make this designer. We want all of that. I mean, like, seriously, it kind of looks the same. The big poofy jackets, the glamour, the kind of Gatsby Roaring Twenty vibes, like, got all the same stuff. It's got all the weird sexcapades, polygamy, whatever. It's like if coffee and nightmares had a baby. Like, am I wrong? No, I am not. It's just, like, less cheap because... It's Gucci and not Sam Smith. And objectively, like the ad is beautifully shot. It is very cinematic. It's pretty. I enjoyed the shots, you know, without the stuff that was in it. But like objectively, it looks nice. It kind of reminds me of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, like the Quentin Tarantino movie, like that kind of energy. And I think we can all agree on that. But it's weird because like, what the hell is going on inside of it? Somebody commented and said, what in the queer lives matter thruple is this? Because I love it. Somebody else said, so basically it's a brother with two lesbians. Got it. I mean, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Somebody else said, bro, ASAP just be with anybody. Another person said, I found it weird. Just weird. That's my main reaction was I just didn't understand why. But like, here's the thing, fashion brands, have always been edgy. They're always being weird. They're always pushing boundaries. So I'm not surprised by this, but this was so clearly a virtue signaling ad. Putting Ellen Elliott Page front and center as a sex object, making ASAP Rocky and Julia Gardner hanging all over her. Like, are you kidding me? There's a reason for that. That was very, very intentional. They are playing into one audience. They are playing into the Ellen Elliott. <laughs> Ellen Elliott fan base. You get what I'm saying? It's not about the fragrance. It's about the thruple. And it's about Ellen Elliott Page. Don't make me tap the sign. And people know somebody said the bisexual agenda is my favorite one. It's so clear. Them, everybody's least favorite publication, wrote an article and said, Elliott Page's Gucci thruple ad is the representation hot, messy, queers need. He starred in the ad alongside ASAP Rocky and Julia Gardner. Like, no, it's not what anybody needs. I don't think I want to know, but what signifies a, a hot, messy queer? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. The article said, we know it's a far off fantasy, but we can't help but yearn for the future feature length version of this tantalizing minute long short. Who would have thought that Gucci would give us the messy queer representation we needed? Why do you need that? Like seriously, this desperate need for representation in every form of media, get over yourself. Media, entertainment, advertising, everything it does not revolve around you it is not their job to make you feel good when you watch something it's really not that big of a deal like you should be able to relate to a character regardless of its identity you should be able to feel something from an advertisement regardless of the identity of the people that are in it this idea that you need to see yourself and everything around you it is selfish it is egotistical i'm fed up like why do you think you're so special that's not how the world works. Later in the article, they said, writer Juan Holmes pointed out that the ad didn't just feature a polyamorous trans inclusive trio, but that it brought the sex appeal and passion to a luxury brand ad. Gucci just changed the game, I fear. That's not new. 
This is what every ad looks like these days. Like for the past five years, it's all been about sex. It's all been about LGBTQ, whatever. This is not new. Gucci is not special. Why are you praising them for this? Just because you feel good in the moment. Sex appeal in a luxury brand, that's been around forever. That's kind of the MO of luxury. It's always sleek. It's always a bit sexy. The new thing is the polyamorous trans-inclusive trio. And that objectively is not a positive way to change the game. On a whole, across all of advertising, advertising, it is not about the products anymore. It really isn't even about selling them to a consumer. It is about peddling an ideology. What? It's just an ordinary crabby, oh my goodness! Everybody is pandering to one side of society's weird beliefs, fetishes, and desires, because if they don't, that little side of society is going to flip their shit and try to cancel brands. Gucci is not special. They are not the only ones doing this. We see this literally every single day. It is weird. And the best thing that you can do as a consumer of products and of videos like these is to just be aware of it. They're not selling a product, they're selling a message, and it's never innocent. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.